Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. I feel good about uh, my preparation. Um, I dropped Jason on a run this week, so that's always a good sign, my husband. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I feel good. And, you know, there's a really important step of the semis before we talk about medals. And I'll take that one as seriously as I did this. And hopefully I have a fighting chance for number five. We'll your see. Your marriage is still good right now. My marriage, my marriage is good. It suffers when I drop him a little bit, but no, he's, he's, he's great. He's happy. So you've been running outside here? Yeah, I've been running outside and uh, I actually have been feeling really good. Um, I don't know if I prepped really well or if it's Florida still runs in my veins a little bit, but I feel good. You go run in the morning or at night or what? Um, I've done both. So I've gone in the morning um, and then I went after the sun went down. It's definitely better after the sun goes down. Um, I did run once at 1230, but that was in the indoor track. <laughs> Did you watch the 5,000, women's 5,000? Um, just now, I haven't been able to. Or, sorry, the 10,000. The 10,000, yeah, I did. Which thing that is? Um, I thought it was really fast. And it, it, you know what, that race showed me that um, the stadium is great, right? Like any of the heat prep that we did, it's still important because we're still here. But um, I mean, if they can run 30 minutes, I can run four flat. What do you make of Hassan closing out loss 1,500 and 359? Um, I'm not spending this week evaluating it. I'm sure you've heard about the Salazar suspension. Yeah. What are your reactions and thoughts about that? Um, get him out. That's my reaction. If you cheat, you get banned. I'm a believer in lifetime bans. I wish it was longer. Um, don't cheat. Did you sort of, did you think, I mean, there's been allegations, but nothing was, you know, no sanctions handed down until this week. I mean, what were your thoughts about him before? Were you skeptical? Did you think he should have been gone before? I mean, anybody that knows any about this sport knows that there's a black shadow, a black cloud, whatever the analogy you want to make, over that group. And so why anyone chooses to be a part of that group, I have no idea. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, anyone that's shocked isn't involved in the sport. So does it make you skeptical? I mean, obviously, you're competing against you know, Jessica Hall, Stefan Asana, both members of that group, so make you more skeptical of that performance. I don't think you can be that closely affiliated with anyone and not have people point fingers. And I don't feel sorry for you if you're closely affiliated with somebody that has a four-year ban and you're there. But I'm not going to be the judge and jury of specifically which athletes are cheating and which aren't. Uh, I'm going to let you saw it and WADA do that job. Do you understand how many young athletes getting into the sport would go? I mean, do you think it's possible that someone could go to that group and not understand what's been going on? I guess the general thing I've been saying is that I don't know because I would never do it. Uh, I would never make that choice. That choice was the same when I was choosing where to go as it is today. Um, but I just say, like, I'm not going to be the judge and jury of who's cheating. But if you're closely affiliated with somebody that has, is now serving a four-year ban and somebody points a figure and says, maybe you're cheating, I don't feel sorry for you. Maybe you're cheating. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 